We'll discuss current affairs first. There's a new term called bad rabbit. There's a new term in news called bad rabbit. It is a ransomware. Last year, you all, you all know, ransomware attacks. In cyber attacks, ransomware. They will hack your details. They will hack your financial details. And they will ask to give some lump sum money. They will do it for ransom. This is called ransomware. Bad rabbit. It's a malicious software. It is a malicious software. Can threaten the data. Can threaten the data. The access to the data may be blocked or data may be lost. The access to the data may be blocked or data may be lost. Bad rabbit is a ransomware. Next. India RAP program. <coughs> India RAP. RAP. Road assessment program. India RAP is a road assessment program that will rate highway safety levels. That will rate highway safety levels and seek to eliminate and seek to eliminate the most unsafe roads. India Road Assessment Program aimed to provide to gain some knowledge about road safety and assess road safety and to eliminate unsafe roads. It is being supported by FedEx and will be hosted by Indian Institute of Transport Development and will be hosted by Indian Institute of Transport Development supported by FedEx. India Road Assessment Program. Next. Adi Mahotsav. Adi Mahotsav. Adi Mahotsav is a tribal festival. It is a fortnight long tribal festival. Adi Mahotsav is a fortnight long tribal festival on the theme of on the theme of a celebration of the spirit of tribal culture. A celebration on the spirit of tribal culture, their cuisines, their way of trading, etc. Their cuisines, their food styles, their way of trading, etc. Their way of commerce. Adi Mahosa. It is being held at New Delhi. Adi Mahosa is being held at New Delhi. Remember. So, one is bad rabbit. It's a ransomware. Malicious software. Second is India Rap. Road Assessment Program. Third is Adi Mahotsa. It's a tribal <coughs> cultural festival, fourth day festival for their cuisines, for their trade. trade and for their culture. This celebration is being, it's a fortnight long celebration called Adi Mahotsa. In today's newspaper, you have various important articles. The first article is related to electoral bonds. Last year, government of India decided to issue electoral bonds. Now, the rules got notified. Rules got notified. The bonds will be available for the first 10 days of each month. For 10 days of each month. You can purchase the bonds for 10 days of each month. January, April, July, October. In the months of January, April, July, October, bonds are allowed to purchase for 10 days. For example, you are a common man. You like a political, political party. 
you want to donate, your name will not be known. You are an anonymous don donor. You are an anonymous donor. You can purchase electoral bonds from some SBI branches. SBI branches you can purchase electoral bonds in the multiples of 1000, 10,000. 1 lakh, 10 lakh, 1 crore. In the multiples of 1000, 10,000. 1 lakh, 10 lakh, 1 crore. And such bonds can only be purchased by citizens of India and corporations incorporated in India. Such bonds can only be purchased by citizens of India. Electoral bonds, remember, can be purchased only by citizens of India. You can purchase that where you have a KYC compliant bank account. Know your customer complaint bank account. Bonds will not carry the name of pay. To whom you are donating and they, are, they will be valid for 15 days. If you donate to a register, you have to donate only to a registered political party. Unregistered political parties, you cannot donate. You can register, you can donate only to the registered political party. And these parties do not know your name. You will be anonymous benefactor. You, you will be anonymous donor. And anonymous benefactor, even you can keep the benefactors anonymous because initially you cannot, you need not write the party name there. After purchasing that, after purchasing that you can write the party name. And next, it can be exchanged by the it can be exchanged by the bank, the electoral bonds. In India, from last two, three years, electoral reforms is a crucial thing. In GS paper 2, in essay in political science paper 1 part B, there is a very good chance of getting a question on electoral reforms. After that, you are observing fast track codes for politicians fast track courts of legislators. When they were eligible of committing certain issues, crimes, fast track courts for them. Conviction of politicians, value issue, or Malaygaon blast issue, or the convicted politician should not contest in elections, section 8, class 4 issue, and playing the religious caste role in politics, again an issue. Election Commission introducing VV PAC, <coughs> VV PAC in 2019 elections, NOTA issue, NOTA, NOTA issue and <coughs> recently Election Commission have sent a recommendation <coughs> that a member should not be any person who want to contest in two constances, any person who want to contest in the two constances they should not be allowed to contest from two constances or if they are allowed, they should be made to pay for the expenditure of the second constancy. A plethora of electoral reforms are coming out. In 2018, in all the three domains of your exam, means, means or interview, in your optional, including your optional, electoral reforms, including electoral reforms. And other important factor here is in the exam. Till last year, till last year, up to 20,000 rupees you can donate to any political party without proper verification name and address. But now it is only up to 2,000 rupees. Up to 2,000 rupees you are not liable to give any details. More than that you have to. Earlier it was up to 20,000 rupees you are free to give to any political party. This is also a recent change in the elections. Apart from that, apart from that, you may get a question on <coughs> group parties, their formation, the rules relating to the election commission, the rules of a membership, and the proportional representation, all these concepts you might get in electoral reforms this year. 
This here electron deforms is a crucial area. Those who prepare very well in this area can, will get, get main, major confidence to write very good uh, answers on this. I think in films also it's very important. And next, FRDA bill displaced. PS over FRDA bill is displaced. As you all know, financial resolution deposit insurance bill. There is a lot of debate over the bill from last two, three months. That if the bill is passed, the depositors' money in the bank will not be returned as usual. They might be converted into shares or we may lose our investment in the banks. We may lose our deposits. People trust bank. In fact, keeping money in the bank is the safest mode according to Indian culture. Most of the Indians don't want interest also. They want the, their money to be in the safe place. They consider bank is the safe. Safest place where we can keep our money. Now, there are a lot many rumors that if FRDA Act comes into picture, our money in the banks, our deposits in the banks are not safe. Our money in the banks, our deposits in the bank are not that safe. So government will make necessary amendment, amendments to the bill. Let us see what type of amendments the government can make on the bill. Next important, eight or eight, lead article today. Looking for substance in style. Looking for substance in style. Rajni Khan, as you all know, in movies, his style is so adorable. People like his style. And in most of the movies, if you see, for example, take Nasima movie. If he waves a hand, car will open. Car door will open. If he stops his hand, Car door, car will stop running. So fascinating for the youth. Can it happen in reality? Now, let us ask to wave his hand to provide food to entire Tamil Nadu people or to provide electricity for entire Tamil Nadu people or to elevate poverty. So, the article says, now we need substance in style. That means, Rajni Khan has to perform. In reality, in reality, as you all know in Tamil Nadu, there is a lot of personality cult. Not only in Tamil Nadu, throughout India we go with that. NTR, MGR, Jayalanta, Elia Indira Gandhi, now Narendra Modi. We are, we we'll give larger than life image to personalities. We we'll give larger than life image to personalities. Beyond that, they have delivered the goods. Beyond that, they have to deliver the goods, means do the things. That is important. That's the core of the article. You can read that article. Next article is about questionable remedy. Questionable remedy. Last year, if you go through Hindu paper from last two years, 2015 and 16, one important issue appeared time and again. Medical Council of India, reforms in Medical Council of India. At that time, a committee was appointed. Very important question in GS2, <coughs> regulatory bodies. In GS2, we have a topic called regulatory bodies, where CBI, Medical Council of India, UGC, all these topics should be read from newspapers. Medical Council of India is a regulatory body for medical exams, MBBS courses in India. There were a lot of malpractices, corruption, allegations and mismanagement, negligence that was found by Lodha Committee. And then there were regular articles about need for reforms in Medical Council of India. In this perspective, National Medical Commission Bill was introduced in the Parliament. National Medical Commission Bill was introduced in the Parliament. In the bill, National Medical Advisory Council was also proposed. They want to make the medical force more viable, 
transparent and better qualitative and equipped for the good of the society. In this perspective, they have discussed about a concept called bridge course. A concept called bridge course. What is this bridge course? That is, most of the MBBS doctors are not ready to go for hinterlands and practice. They don't work in the remote and rural areas for practice. If not doctors, at least some type of course should be given to paramedical or some medical practitioners so that they will bridge a gap. They will fill the vacuum where we need to have medical <coughs> attendance in the various places. So bridge course, this article promoted, but still we have to see how this course will practically work. We have to wait and see how this course will practically work, first thing. Second thing, in the National Medical Commission and National Medical Advisory Council, the membership is almost duplication. When same members work in both the bodies, there won't be certain proper supervision and uh, proper advice and proper guidelines. So there are many issues, but you should know National Medical Commission's bill was introduced. As you all know, last year, Medical Council of India, all the issues that were propped up around, Loda Committee was appointed on these issues. Next important article is about among the multiple endings. Among the multiple endings. This article is relating to Kulbusham Jaro. <coughs> this article is related to Kulbusham Jaro. Sometimes an incident revolving human being, an individual, will actually decides and dictates our foreign policy with a country. For example, I remember four years back, India-US relations were affected by an incident of related to one Indian Foreign Service Officer called Devayani Cobrigate. Indian Foreign Service Officer named Devayani Cobrigate. There was some humiliation to her in America. And India took the issue very seriously because diplomats are the guests and the host country should treat them properly. I cannot equate this Kulbush Nyadam with Devani Kobrigate, but sometimes a single incident relating to a person who is very important for our country, how this issue will flare up in the foreign policy entire gambit. And this has happened with Gulbush and Jadav. More than everything else is the humanitarian call. It was considered that the treatment towards his wife is humiliating. And India-Pakistan relations now are in quagmire, particularly with respect to this case, Gulbush and Jadav. But finally what we need is a solution for the problem. Not Entanglements, exchanges of exchange of heated words. What we need is a solution, proper solution for the Kulbush and Yadav. Protecting the life is more important than anything else. We should focus more on that. Next important article is about fiscal deficit targets. As you all know, we have a fiscal deficit target of 3.2%. We want to fix our fiscal deficit at 3.2%. Compared to last year, Compared to last year, we were missing our fiscal deficit targets because of various reasons. Already they were missed. Now the question. One of the thing is recapitalization of banks. Recapitalization of banks is one of the reasons to miss the fiscal deficit targets. In the beginning of the year, NK Singh Committee recommendations. For films, I am telling, NK Singh Committee recommendations are very crucial. NK Singh Committee recommended various things on FRBM targets. 
on FRBM targets. You may get, you may get a question on encasing committee recommendations in prelims about FRBM, fiscal responsibility, budget management targets. In the beginning of the year, NKSIN gave a lot of many recommendations about that. Now India is missing those targets. NKSIN told a particular concept. You need not 100% follow targets. Sometimes when you are taking a strong decision for the country, take for example GST, take for example demonetization. When you are doing for the benefit of the country, the larger interest of the country should be taken care of. You need not strictly follow the targets. This is also exemption class is also given by NKSIN panel. This might be your question. Exemption class is also given by NKSIN panel. And uh, you got articles relating to Indian Science Congress. Recently if you find science, science research, scientists like C. V. Raman, like Meghna Saha, and the names of the scientists. One week back also we got similar article. One week back also we got similar article. Where they have compared NASA scientists, American scientists who were women and blacks, whose names were untold. Untold. In the same way in India, most of the scientists are not coming up. Science research, these issues regularly appearing in the newspapers. You might get some questions like scholarships <coughs> relating to science and technology. What are the various scholarships for the students for science and technology, like Inspire scholarships, like Atal Tinkering Labs, like Pearl scholarships, like uh, Madame Curie scholarships. Recently, lot of many scholarships were introduced by the Government of India to promote inquisitiveness among the children and young minds about science research including Atal Tinkering Labs. Atal Tinkering Labs <coughs> inspire scholarships are very important questions for this year films. So this type of thing, even scientists names and their inventions. From last 10 years, we are not finding questions in films about scientists names <coughs> and their inventions. This time you may get a question like uh, C. V. Raman inventions or Meghna Saha inventions or even they may ask you about Aryabhatta, they may ask you about persons like uh, Ramanujan, any type of mathematician, science inventions, this time one question might come or they may ask you about uh, like uh, neutrinos, neutrino laboratory in India, in Thani district Tamil Nadu, neutrino laboratory in Thani district Bodhi Hills Tamil Nadu or they may ask you Aditya mission. Aditya Solar Mission, Tokamak Technology in India, that they might ask. So various questions, even telescopes. Nainital, we have installed a telescope. In Ladakh region, we have installed a telescope. The various scientific telescopes also might be a question this year. You should follow. And uh, there was an interview with Sri Lanka, Sri Lankan senior politician about Tamilian issue. That you can read, not very important. Just if you remember, 13th Amendment in Sri Lanka, which needs autonomy, which needs, which aims at autonomy for North and Northeastern provinces, that is important. And this year, there was a big news about uh, two things. One is James Webb. James Webb. James Webb is a telescope. James Webb is a telescope which is going to be launched in 2020 by NASA, replacing Hubble telescope. We have a telescope, another telescope called Hubble telescope. NASA is going to replace it with a new telescope called James Webb. In India, Indian version is AstroSat. Last two years back already question was asked on AstroSat. You can again read on AstroSat, but we have to emphasize on James Webb. J A M E S James 
WEBB web. Next important uh, issue this year is SpaceX. SpaceX. Time and again, SpaceX is appearing in news. It's a commercial space project owned by private people. Owned by private people, SpaceX. The adventures of SpaceX might be questioned for you in the future. NASA, SpaceX, and ISRO. Last page of India, if you see, these three are playing a major role. And in these three, science and technology, one question might come. NASA's missions, SpaceX, and SpaceX drag on spacecraft to International Space Station. One thing. And NASA's various missions and ISRO's various adventures. All these things you have to make it this year. This is very important. Okay? This is enough.